Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a full review of Samsung Galaxy A5 and another smartphone that I bought uh, with the A3 uh, it's bigger brother uh, the difference main is the screen and the camera and um, uh, let's say it's a little bit slimmer so uh, let's start off this review so uh, uh, first of all the main reason uh, of buying this device of course is its design because specs wise it's not that much of a great device Snapdragon 410 I've seen its performance it's not that great but it will give you a premium look you can see that so they have the metal finish and they've used the metal finish uh, on the sides here and also we have the back made up of aluminum so zero plastic which means that this is extremely premium it will look extremely good in, uh, in your hand and also uh, if we talk about the Galaxy A5 screen this is a 5 inch screen which is a uh, big bump from the 4.5 inch screen on the A3 and uh, now this is a 720p HD screen um, res uh, 720p HD resolution having a PPI close to 300 294 PPI to be accurate and this is a super AMOLED screen you can see it is a very sharp screen I'm not sure if you can see it through camera but anyways this is looking very sharp in hands and uh, of course you will have no problem uh, using it in uh, sunlight it will give you a good look and all that um, so uh, let's talk about all of its elements here so first of course uh, on the top we have nothing you can see Qualcomm 4G sticker because it is a 4G device now on the bottom we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the charging port now they have moved the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack from the top to the bottom uh, which is I think a good thing so we have nothing on the top and the power button is on the side which is really easy to use and uh, and of course the device has this me uh, metal finish so you'll have a extremely great grip so this device won't going to be slipping out of your hand easily now uh, this is extremely thin device 6.7 millimeter very thin device and at the same time it has a 123 gram of weight which is also very light for a you know phone of this size and uh, I mean the 5 inch screen is perfect perfect for nowadays if you have used a lot of smartphone you you might have noticed that a lot of smartphones are not going above 5.2 inch screen size we, we are going to see some flagship phones this year with 5.5 inch screen and bigger and bigger screens uh, but this is actually pretty pretty good um, screen size to use um, so this is pretty light 123 gram aluminum body and premium design so design wise it is an extremely great device so on the back we do have a, a 13 megapixel camera uh, which is uh, of course equal to the Galaxy S4's 13 megapixel camera I'll be comparing that so we'll see what kind of improvements we have with this new camera also we have the LED flash here um, also we do have the speaker now as far as the volume is concerned or speaker is concerned on uh, both of these A3 and A5 devices uh, that's not that much great in terms of their sound so I'm not that satisfied but anyways um, on the side we have the volume rocker um, and also we have nothing other than the volume rocker and also there we have the dual sim car slot here and the uh, micro SD car slot for expanding the storage now if we talk about its uh, software which is of course uh, it is running Android version 4.4.4 KitKat you can see it is running pretty smooth very well optimized as far as the battery life is concerned uh, it is extremely great um, in terms of their battery I haven't seen any kind of major uh, drainage or all that so if we go down uh, into the settings area then if we go here to about device so setting is like you know, identical to the Galaxy Note 4 uh, so it is pretty neat and even on the 4.4.4 KitKat we do have this card based uh, uh, notification uh, card based multitasking area uh, but anyways if we go ahead uh, here and click here a couple of times you can see this is running Android version 4.4.4 KitKat and then also you can enable the developer option if you click here a couple of times it will say that you are now a developer where you can mess with some developer options if you want to here um, so you can see that we do have the power saving option it also comes with the ultra power saving mode which is again one of the best features that I like on Samsung devices and then also if you go here into the notification area or quick setting area you can see that uh, we do have this button here to have more notification you can see we do have the ultra power saving icon 
and then also we have the smart stay, sync, and some other cool stuff. We also do have the blocking mode. So if we swipe uh, two fingers down, you can see now we get uh, the quick settings. Uh, let's close everything in the background. So of course, we do have this dedicated button to close and this uh, button for cleaning up the RAM. So Samsung has done a great job. It is identical to the Galaxy Note 4's and 4 KitKat. So most of the elements are taken from the Note 4 for the A5. And if we hold down the screen, we have these four options, which is uh, wallpaper, widgets, and home screen settings. Uh, you are familiar with these three options, but this is the fourth one, which is the theme. Now they have included the theme. Now uh, by default, this device runs Samsung Basic, but I'm using uh, the uh, natural, I think. So I will uh, switch it uh, to the Samsung Basic again. To going to show you that how the themes work. So this is how uh, the, this is how the default themes look like. You can see it really really do resembles the Galaxy Note 4 wallpaper and all that. So it looks like a mini Galaxy Note 4. So uh, really really great uh, device. And uh, of course the front facing camera. This is 5 megapixel and uh, this is not the camera that we have seen on uh, the um, Galaxy Grand Prime. This is a lot more better. I've done a full camera test, uh, 1080p video test of front and back and a camera comparison, uh, a full camera review back and front. You can check out my channel for that detailed camera. Uh, but if I talk about one thing that uh, I do like, the quality a lot more. It is even better than my Note 4, to be honest. Uh, so it is definitely we can call it is a good selfie phone to take selfies and all that. Uh, also, if you talk about the internals, we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 inside. You can see it's very, very fast and fluid. Uh, you can see that we have no lag whatsoever, uh, no crashing. It's extremely fast. I've done a speed test comparison between the A5 and the A3. These devices are pretty fast, so I'll be doing a combined speed test with other devices. Uh, some of the top dogs out there to test all the speed and all that. So uh, we're going to check out pretty soon. But anyways, this is very fast. No problems, no lags whatsoever. So uh, Snapdragon 410 is very well optimized. So if you want to buy this phone just for uh, call messaging and some light gaming and all that uh, then this is this might be the ideal phone for you guys uh, and uh, of course it's not that much powerful in terms of benchmarks like it is not powerful as Snapdragon 801 but it's definitely powerful enough to run all the applications without any error so you can see that so also this, uh, this software here the Android 4.4.4 Kika also comes with the My Files which is the default file manager I really do like it it shows your device storage, your download history, and also it has some great categorized stuff up there. Uh, that is really great. Uh, we have this default music player app that we have seen on uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 with the Lollipop update. So I don't have any music at the moment. And uh, this also comes with a 2GB of RAM, which is a little bit uh, more than the Galaxy A3's 1.5GB of RAM. So we have the default calculator we go here into the gallery, so this is how the gallery looks like. Uh, not that bad. And also we can check out the uh, more option to crop and to rotate the image. We can also share it. Some basic stuff there. Um, then also we have this basic messaging phone and contact app. Basic internet app. So it, it is complete uh, touch with experience there. Um, so if we talk about uh, the um, let's say if we talk about uh, the camera now let's go to the camera app here uh, so uh, this is how the front facing camera looks like you can see me right now uh, that this is the one of the best feature here we have is the palm selfie like you can show the palm your palm uh, to your phone and then you wait it will going to take the selfie let's do it again and just wait and now you can see it's take, taking this selfie. So that is an extremely great feature. You don't have to press anything. Just show the show your hand and then wait. It will going to capture a photo. And then also you can uh, say something to the phone to capture the image. For example, if I say capture. And you can see now it's capturing the selfie. That is extremely great. Uh, now we also do have here the option to... Uh, change it to 5 megapixel. Of course, it is by default on 3.7, so I'm going to change it to 5 megapixel. Now the quality is a little bit more better. Uh, also, we have a video size. We can have a 1080p HD, 720p, and 480p. 
then also we do have recording mode now this is a, a little bit uh, boring thing because we don't have the fast motion and slow motion video recording if they included that that is really awesome uh, they might include it in lollipop maybe maybe not uh, so uh, also we do have here the wide selfie mode uh, not wide selfie mode this is to just uh, check out to just you know tweak your face and all that but we do have a wide selfie mode if I go here into the uh, more setting area let's see uh, where is that option palm selfie uh, here we go yes we have this wide selfie mode basically you can take a selfie if uh, a lot of people are sitting with you you can just uh, take a quick selfie by moving your phone to left and right we're going to create a panoramic image uh, kind of panoramic uh, selfie something like that uh, which is really great if you are on a party and uh, want to take some selfies but anyways this is a back camera you can touch to focus anywhere if you want to 13 megapixel camera with single LED flash you can turn on the flash here you can also go here into the main settings um, we do have this uh, flash option again here which is kind of weird then also we do have the camera megapixel option then this mo uh, more option where you can uh, set up the video recording now no 4k video recording do keep that in mind full HD video recording I've done a test you can check out my channel uh, we have the recording video mode no uh, uh, slow-mo fast mo video recording just normal and some normal option that uh, we have on uh, some basic options ISO exposure value and all that so um, you can also record the video instantly by pressing this button take the picture uh, picture by clicking this button and then also check out some modes we can also then download the modes we can also then manage the mode we also have a night mode uh, by the way I'll be doing a night camera test pretty soon uh, but this is how the camera looks like a really awesome camera and we can also close everything in the background uh, like once here so uh, battery life wise this is having a 2003 normally per battery which is equal to the Google Nexus 5 and uh, it will perform better on this device because the resolution is a little bit uh, you can say uh, 720p it's not 1080p so we don't uh, have that much of a pixel uh, push and all that so of course this is the back is not removable uh, it is a fixed back and it looks extremely great in hand and this is the best uh, device that you can get uh, uh, in a in mid-range category this is the the most best device you can get um, it will give you all the good usage on that your Wi-Fi your calling and also gaming and everything it will not that it will not perform as equal to the Note 4 but it's definitely going to give you a whole lot of good experience and uh, some amazing stuff that is on this device so uh, one more thing that I want to show you is that uh, the camera you can see that is now a little bit popped out from the sides you can see uh, which is pretty sexy actually so I'll be doing benchmarks and some other tests uh, pretty soon so if you have any questions just comment down below and some specific video if you want to watch do let me know in the comment section down below and uh, do check out the unboxing and some other great stuff I'll be seeing you in my next video I'll, uh, I'll also get the Galaxy A7 which will come next week so we'll have pretty fun uh, with it comparing with these two boys uh, but anyways I'll see you next video peace out and don't forget to subscribe